Hello, today I want to talk about electrical estimating a little bit. And from the Excel spreadsheet that I have up on the screen here, you can see there's quite a bit of information in here. And I'll just uh, scroll this down a little bit, and you can see um, when you're doing a takeoff, there's a lot of things that you need to pay attention to. Um, you know, nuts, bolts, plates, screws, boxes, mud rings, you name it. And uh, it can be quite a daunting task. So I use a, a program, software program called Electrical Bid Manager, and it's made by Vision Infosoft. And I already have a uh, sample commercial job up here. So briefly, I just want to run through here, and you have these different uh, modules that you can click on. In this particular case, I've got the branch circuits. It's being run in half-inch EMT conduit. Uh, the number of wires in it, the fittings, uh, the type of straps, uh, how you mount them, and then you can just do a takeoff on it, and it'll it'll pull up a little warning sign here, and it says length not entered, which is really nice. It's a nice reminder. So we'll just put that in, and then we'll do the takeoff. And down here, all that information I've shown you on that spreadsheet. Uh, gets calculated and, and entered down and through here automatically. You do the same thing in the switchboards, motor control, transformer, safety switches, starters. Uh, so let's go into the switchboards and panels. There's a lot of saved assemblies in here or you can just create your own, name it whatever you want. Um, you can name it a, a number if you want to. And then uh, type panel board surface, uh, everything is all listed in here in one module so with a couple clicks of the button and hitting the, the takeoff here all that information is all put down here in the audit trail as you go along you have your device assemblies and you can go ahead and click on those and just add in you know whatever your uh, your takeoff is and you have miscellaneous takeoff, demolition, trenching, stuff like that. Your reports, here's your audit trail here. So all that information that I had on the Excel was actually exported out of here. And you can just go down through the, the list here and double check and make sure that you've got everything that, uh, that you're quoting and, and bidding on. And then you can go to uh, let's just do job totals for now. As that comes up, you've got your non-quoted stuff, all your your pieces and parts, couplings, connectors, nuts, bolts, screws, stuff like that. Your quotes, uh, maybe it might be gear, lighting, sales tax, your direct hours, your labor rate, you can change that, uh, journeyman, foreman, helper. You got non-productive, uh, material handling, site meetings, job scheduling. You can add all that stuff in here. It's all part of your cost. What it uh, what it takes to put this project together in a in an accurate bid. Now I've been using this program since uh, about 2000 2001. I'm really really happy with it. I haven't used uh, really any other ones to any great extent, but uh, this is the one that I've used most often. You have uh, direct job expenses. Uh, you know, if you got a backhoe out there, storage, tool rental, engineering. You got your subcontract, tools miscellaneous. If you need to rent ladders and scaffolding, shop tools, digging tools, and you got to go out and buy shovels to do the project. It's all part of the job, and it all needs to be calculated. You have uh, the subcontracts, which uh, could be a backhoe operator, saw cutting. Um, you know, this pole, light pole setting. You have overhead and profit. You can adjust all that right in through here in this module. You got your bond if you have a job, uh, a bond. You have your actual bid price, square foot price, um, your your profit. Um, it just it calculates everything for you. All you got to do is input the numbers. Um, going back to your your fixtures and devices we'll pull up the light fixtures here and this is a, a saved assembly once again all this is in here 
and it calculates everything the six foot field assembled whip or does it come factory you can change that your t-bar clips um, there's just anything and everything to do with installing those light fixtures has to be accounted for because um, it all costs money and that's all part of the bid so I can go back down into the the reports here and you can do job extensions and you can do an extension spreadsheet and it just spells it all out for you and then if you need to you can go ahead and export it or you can print it so very basics on uh, on estimating but uh, doing it by hand these days is uh, probably non-existent unless you're on a really small job so I just wanted to kind of throw that one out there and so thanks for watching have a great day